very much. Give yourselves a round of applause. This here for you coming out to the LA Comedy Awards. My name is Perry Kurtz. I'm one of the, I would also volunteer to be your host for this night uh, because this is a glorious evening here at the beautiful Camden House in Beverly Hills. Yeah. Uh, got a lot of comedy fans that are looking at me and going, this is the nice place. I was driving up Robertson Boulevard, which I like to call Jewville. And, um, yeah. from one of the Gentiles over there. And, uh, I can say things like that because I'm a Jew, but I'm a bad Jew. I don't even eat, eat anything that's kosher. Even my wife is Gentile. Oh. <laughs> but you ever want to have fun? You ever meet a rabbi? Here's some way you can have a real good time with a rabbi. They have a phrase they use that's between rabbis. And I was thinking of this today. I met a lot, and there's a phrase they use. The phrase is Baruch Hashem. And what it means is God bless or God willing. And what happens is when one rabbi meets another, they go, How are you? And he goes, Baruch Hashem. So if you ever meet a rabbi, and he says, how are you? Go, Baruch Hashem. And they'll all do this. They'll go. You'll see the eyebrows go up. Their hairpiece will actually slide back a couple of inches. The hat will get loose. <laughs> yeah, so I am glad to be here. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. As you can tell, I'm an ex-male stripper. And um, I will tell you when it's a joke. And uh, yeah, actually, I've been doing comedy since 1976. That's when I got started. And I love this life. Uh, thank you, thank you for supporting my endless struggle. Yeah, I got into stripping yeah, by accident. I moved to San Francisco in 1979. Because in those days there were five comedy clubs and you could actually get up and do five shows a night. And as a comedian, you have to get up and practice. There's nothing that will help you develop, like the practice, the practice, the practice. So I did it, but I couldn't make any money. So I went down to Broadway, which is where all the strip clubs were, and I got a job emceeing at the male strip show in San Francisco. Now, I have to point out, it was the only male strip show in San Francisco. Okay, I have to clarify that, because in those days, there were a lot of guys that were like, let's just say they're extremely happy fellows, okay? These are guys who will bend over forwards for you. Are you following me? And so I was emceeing one night, I was up there talking to the ladies, and some women started yelling, take it off, and uh, they were blind, but... <laughs> I realize that women see men differently than men see women, and it's very different. See, guys, we're very visual. We look at a woman, and based on the way she looks, whether it's her hips, her lips, her nose, her teeth, her ankles, her feet, her butt, her eyes, her eyebrows, her ears, whatever is a physical thing about her, we decide we want to sleep with you. That's the way men are, very visual, whereas women are smarter than men. Women want more than that. Women want a guy who can think. Women will actually walk up to a man and say, can you talk? <laughs> Yeah, so I did that for a while. A lot of fun, but I had to stop because uh, I lost my figure. I lost my girl's figure. I got this motherly figure. I don't know if you can tell this from the side. I look like a sloppy rolled joint. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for laughing at my pain. Yeah, you know how some guys have a washboard stomach? I have a washing machine stomach. When I walk, there are studs coming out of my ass. The other day I was out for a walk, I actually found a sock. I don't know what it was doing there. But yeah, I did that for a while. Did that, then I started going on the road, traveling. I love traveling, I miss doing that. I love the Deep South. People are so friendly down there. But there's a lot of inbreeding. A lot of inbreeding. I've actually met people who are their own parents. <laughs> Mississippi, I met a woman who had three teeth and nine fingers on her right hand. Had a nasty overbite. But they talk down there. They talk. Actually, they towel. They have a southern drawl. They enjoy the language. Here, we're in such a hurry to get our words out. We all talk so fast. We just rush in there. And it's like, hi, how are you? Where are you going? I had a guy got up to go to the bathroom during my show. He was a big guy. He actually blocked the spotlight as he walked in front of the stage. And I took a person. I got pissed. I said, where are you going? He stops. He goes, I'm going to tie a piss. I said, a P.S.? He goes, yes. I said, is that one syllable or two? He goes, one what? Silly, silly what? I said, you take your P.S. We'll be here when you get back. <laughs> so I'm eager to get back on the road. I want to go out again, but I'm still a little bit nervous about flying. Flying used to be the safest way to travel, but now there's all kinds of stuff around. Like about a month ago, here at LAX, an American Airlines plane was backing out of the gate, backed into another plane. 
Now, it's really hard to miss something that's the size, you know, of a football stadium. And I, I don't know about you, but when I get in the car, first thing I do is I check my rear view mirrors. You would think they're doing this, you know? What happened to the little guy with the little light downstairs? What, was he texting down there looking for a train to come through? I don't get it. I just don't get it. And you can tell when your pilots had too much to drink when they get on the air going, Uh, good morning, uh, good, uh, hi. <laughs> this is your pilot. My name's, um, Robert. And I'll be flying this part of the nuts at an altitude of 30,000 feet, what? 35,000 feet, what? Or a really fucking high. <laughs> and we should be arriving in about an hour and a half to five hours if we're lucky. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the whoa, 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 what do you want, man? What are you screaming about? Just relax, dude, just chill. Or shh, all right, just, I'll ask you. We're wondering if you could do us a favor and look out the left side of the plane at the ground and see if anything down there looks familiar to you. Because we're lost. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and what, 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 where'd you get the joint, man? I'm already wasted. Yeah, who cares? You're right. Lock the door. All right. I need a light. I need a light. I need a light. I need a light. Give me a light. Let go of the wheel, Joey. Give me a light. Thank you.